Hey, Devils. Uh, Sam back with you here on uh, Wednesday, July 18th. And per the polling that we do on Twitter on Wednesdays to let you guys decide what we're going to review, uh, the overwhelming request winner was for Bitcoin, at least an update on Bitcoin. And now I understand that, right? So we, we uh, all of the uh, Bitcoin bulls, myself included, like to see this price action. So we so we can dig in here and do a little update and maybe get a handle on where we are and potential potential outcomes here that um, could su support the idea here that we have a contender for a good one wave coming off of this low. So now I've been through this many times in many videos here, but j just to review here, I'm counting this as an ABC and the C is in. Now we do have this little conundrum here. I'm here on Bitfinex where we, on some exchanges, we put in a new low, others we didn't. So because of that, I'm calling this the five low because yeah, we just don't want to make an exception. And so we, we wouldn't be counting this one two just because it was internal on Bitfinex. If we look on Bitstamp or Oh, I think even GDAX here, we, we had a couple that uh, just went beyond that pivot. So can't, can't make an exception for an exchange. So given that, right, as we come down here and see here from this B pivot here, that seems like it may be significant. The, the five wave structure here is just as good as it can be. Right? So, and I've shown this before. So we get our one, two, three, four, five, and we've got all the subdivision, even if we are calling this a truncated fifth and on this exchange here. We, we've got great subdivision here all the way down. So here's our five waves into our A, three waves. It's a shallow B, no doubt about it. Then we get our five down. And I think, as I recall showing this, that the length of our two. All right, so we get a little front run on the 50. And here, here now they get it damn near to the tick, right? But because we're calling it, we're calling this our pivot that we're starting from, uh, e either way, you know, Alga, Alga has got that, right? So they, they got it right there or right here. So there you go. So that's that's how I'm counting it. <clears throat> now, what's happening over here? Let's, let's go take a look there. Now, so let me let me blow this up. I'm on the 60 minute here on Bitfinex. Let, let's blow this up and then I'll, we'll come back out to this and get some perspective. So you can see this a little bit better. All right, let me open this up. All right, so here's that double bottom low that we're using as our starting point for what we are hoping is a new trend. Now, let me tighten this up a little bit. So it, I've got a one. Now, <clears throat> in this count, I have been uh, suggesting that we had a candidate here for an expanded B wave here. Now, a lot of people disagreed with that, but I think at this point here, we can we can say this now has fairly good probability here that what we have is a 1A, ABC into a B. We get this spike here for the for the expanded, expanded B wave, an expanded flat. So we go A, B, and then we get this nice pretty sell-off here in five. And even that, as I recall, was fairly technical. So if I take my two pivot to my three pivot, right? So it's a shallow four. So 23 only catches it, but then here we get 23, six to the tick. And then we get a little drive down below it just to finish this five wave sequence, which is actually good to see because th this is what we want to see. We want to see this subdivision here. And there had been you know, some <clears throat> bears that were looking at this. Excuse me a sec. Okay, so I'm back. So because of this, there was the thought that maybe this was a one, two, and we were going to keep going down. I think we can comfortably say that that's not, not, not an option any longer here. Now, that doesn't mean that we absolutely guaranteed I have that, that we're going three, four, five, and we're off to the races. Now we're looking, this is certainly encouraging, but we are not in the clear just yet. So what, what, what do we need to see happen? Well, let's, let's clean this up a little bit. All right. So one, if this is my two, well, we can start doing a, a little bit of measuring here. So I'm Bitfinex. I'm using this as my low to my one. I'm coming down here for my two. All right, and I'm looking for those high probability zones. Well, we know, right, as I've shown you, got, I don't even know, I've lost track how many times, that this is our high probability zone for our third between the 1618 and the 175. So we're not there yet. All right, so we're not... It's a high probability zone. Doesn't mean we have to get there. And I'm going to show you why likely we've run into some resistance here. 
you know, so we're, we're kind of in no man's land. There's the 127, the 1618. Be, I would be surprised if there's not an, at least an effort here for our bulls to get it up here to the 1618. You know, maybe, maybe that little push is underway here. But we definitely have a target here, but we're going to have to break some pretty substantial resistance to get there. So this, this may well be the attempt. And then, of course, we may just have this may, just may just be setting up for some sort of an ABC. And that could be that could be the ABC into the A wave before we go B wave. And then we go down and we do something like this all over again. So that's that's definitely we could be in the midst of putting that putting that on right now. And that our four is going to be somewhere down here. Of course, we're paying attention to the one. So th this whole area, and we've drawn this before, this whole area here of all, you see all these these little, little spikes that we had over here, all of this area likely to offer some support. Should we, and we don't know that we will, should we come down that far? All right, so we've got, we're not quite where we want to see that third, but the, the tell, let me get rid of this, the, the tell is not going to come until this gets tested. Do, and do we get, do we get a four five? That is the only way we confirm. So we need this to come down and do, do whatever it's going to do, but we need to come down. Hey, come here. Down we go. We, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll measure that, but we need to come down here, and then we need to do this. Right? That's the only way we get confirmation from this pivot that we have a good, solid motive wave, a five-wave structure coming off of that low, and we just do not have that yet. Now, we have some good tells, some things that are encouraging. So th this action here certainly looks impulsive, yet as we look at the subdivision, boy, it's hard to count it any other way as though we're getting an extension in the fifth. So... This potentially could get relabeled, but I think this is the count that works right now. Now we're going to see here how far we get with this. It's, it's not, it's not it's, you know, terribly unusual to see an extension like this. It's, it's a little bit unusual to see it in the third, but yet here, here we are. So we can look at this and a couple of things we can start looking for. We, so we know we're sitting right here is my 1618, which I'd, I'd like to see a push up to that. But here's the resistance we have to get through. Right? So you, you have to check these because there will be an algorithm on the other side of this offering that resistance. Now, we look back before we went into this perfect five wave structure here, just perfect symmetry down for this five. Well, we have our B wave here. So this was an, it, clearly an important pivot to the market. So if I take this pivot, because I've got to pick something to start measuring from. So I start with the B wave and say, well, let me measure the length of the B to the C. Now, regardless, this is within a couple of bucks of what, whatever we call it whichever pivot we use, depending on what exchange you're measuring, we'll take a look at what we've done, right? So it's, it's <clears throat> very reasonable to anticipate that what we've run into here is algo selling at that 618 as we've had actually a little break of the 618. We've gone into the golden zone. Now it's going to be challenged again, but I, I assure you that there is an, an algorithm written to sell here at this 618, just like you can see what... <laughs> Well, we, we've been through them a couple of times. So there was this one here, right? So we came to the 50. We had a reaction. Bulls were too strong. So we got the little reaction and then, and then came the tear. So all I'm doing is going back one, right, as we have to do. And if we get through that, we got to go back one here because I promise you there'll be algorithms written to sell that. Now, look at that. Now, if we get through the first one from the pivot high, well, now we're gonna we're looking for that one six one eight one seven five box just in front of the fifty. So, do not be surprised if that creates the resistance that sets up for the four five. Now, question is, if we come down here, and whether it's profit taking or you know, who, who knows the cause of it, whatever it is that causes the sell off or the retracement, let's say it that way, the retracement into the four, this is where we determine whether or not we've got a good, a, a good motive wave here, and in this case, an impulse to, to take us further away from this pivot, right? So we can see the map sort of laying out here is that we've got a contender yet here for this five wave to come up and pivot right into the 618, just as we're doing it right here. Right, so right, this same thing, guys, every time. So just as we're running into that resistance here, we got to deal with this. Now, not I wouldn't check all these, but I'd go to all the way, all the way. Right, see how that's affecting my roadmap, and does that kind of make sense with where we may be going and what we're trying to get here, which is distance from this pivot. Well, if we do that, let's say that we go up there <clears throat> and we, we can break through this little stalling area here, and you can see it's just not, this isn't hard to spot, right? So here we have congestion over here. 
right? Indecision. I mean, even if you did that, right? You've just got ind it just indecision here. What, what? I don't know. I'm not sure. Down we go. Now, right back to that area here where we have this indecision. Now, you can see here on the volume profile here. So market is starting to accept here. So we're getting buying and selling, buying and selling. So the high volume note. Now, currently, point of control is down here at the one wave pivot, right? That's where we had all of that trading. So th thus, the, the, the highest amount of volume at that price. Well, now we're, start, we're challenging here as we consolidate these gains. So we, we'll, we'll see now if we hold or how deep the retracement is. Nothing says we have to go deep. We could certainly do a 23 here if the market's going to stay strong. But let me pull this off now. So that gives us a fairly good roadmap <clears throat> to look at there. Anticipating that we're going to pump into this resistance, right? We've got it on two levels. So anticipating that, the next question becomes, where do we go in the four? So let me pull this stuff off. So if we just take our two low down here, and again, we don't, we don't know yet whether or not we've got the hard three in up here yet, because we have this, right, as I just showed you, we've got the resistance and we're not to the 618. So we don't know for sure whether or not we're in there yet. But let's say we get up to the 1618. Right, well, here at four, we'd be looking for between the 23 and the 38. That's ideal. All right, so can we come down in a little three? Or are we gonna get are we gonna go deeper and go back down to the 50? Now the good news about the 50 is that there'll be an algorithm that will kick in there and we'll be as bulls, we'll be on the on the backside of them. We want to try and just get tuck in behind them if they come down. But if it doesn't go, if it doesn't go to the 50 and we go to the 38, that's where you got to look at it and take a calculated risk based on do we have a combination? Do we get pattern? Do we get the three wave subdivision we'd look for to set us up for that four? Do, do we hold their signs of buying? Check the volume, where are the oscillators, all the things that you'd look for to try and help you with that decision. But I think we can be fairly confident that we have some sort of impulsive move underway here, given just even even just looking at the Elliott oscillator, All right? Just as you see here, this third down here, we had this was the big push. Here's the divergence before we go into the four. So can the can the oscillator get all the way back to zero? That would be the typical way that you'd that you'd be looking to. Let me see if I can get an arrow. We'd be looking for this to come back and set us up for the four with the with the oscillator getting to zero before it climbs up again and goes for five. So we'll have to see how long this consolidation lasts. What does the volume look like? Now let's open this up yet again. All right, so we'll go here. So here back on this this one hour. So we're kind of in this, you know, we're just we're just going sideways. So all of that is here. So we're just consolidating these gains. We're making an effort to push through it, but just kind of moving sideways. Wouldn't be, wouldn't would I wouldn't buy it here. Let's just say it that way. So what am I looking for? I'm looking for that. If I can get that, then I'd take a long, hard look at maybe buying into that for the four and the five. Likely I will. So let's now let's just as I scrunch this up here, <clears throat> look at the market profile over here. So we have very little acceptance here. So if we're coming down, you know, we get but watch for that. So it's starting to grow here. So you can see this. Remember, I've got just visible range. So whatever I can, whatever I can see. So if I take this all the way over to the side, so now I'm getting the volume profile from this pivot low. All right, do you see, see what I'm doing here? So we're getting, we're starting to see volume as the market accepts here. We're seeing this start to push out here, holding, holding, holding. If we start to come down here, we have absolutely no trading there because on the way up, it just blew right through. It went so fast. That's why we don't have acceptance here. So one of two things happen when you see that. Either the market comes down and it goes down just as fast as it went up. Right, because we don't have acceptance here. It, where is it? What's it looking for? It's looking for acceptance, which is going to be back down here. All right, so we we shall see how that unfolds. Now we're not we're not there yet, right? We still don't know if this is our third. So we watch and we wait, and and if you're long already, well, good for you, right? Now be 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 conservative because if we scroll this all the way back out, let's go out to the three to the three hour. <clears throat> the bears can look at this and go, well, all we're doing is just putting in an ABC, right? You can see that argument, all right? If we're, if we're looking here, if we get it in, in a larger degree, swing high, swing low, <clears throat> just like we did this. So we did here, right? Now this one, we did get through the 65 just barely, right? A couple of pumps through it before we had the big rip down. That target unfilled down here. 
un unrealized. So swing low, <coughs> pardon me, swing high, swing low, unfulfilled target. We, we could have the exact same thing happen again. Damn it, hang on a second. Sorry, guys. In Austin, Texas, we have the absolute worst allergies in the country. And it creates that uh, <clears throat> frog in my throat. So sorry about that. But there we go. So I'm just trying to make the point that swing high, swing low. We come to an algo zone here. Down we go. We could very easily do the same thing. So you could see that 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 line of thinking if you were looking at like, well, what, what else could be going on? Well, we could just have this, this moving down in some sort of an... Uh, uh, some sort of emotive wave, and all we're doing is an ABC. All right, so what I have labeled as one two could easily be reinterpreted. Could could easily be interpreted, I should say, as an A B, and we're going up for the C, just looking for the pivot into either the fifty here or the six one eight before we set that up to go back down. Now look what we get down below. We've got this confluence down here, so we get a big hot box down here as a double target. So we've got this. this uh, it's not what I want. I want this. We've got this double target down here. So can't count that out. Still can't, e even if we get here. So when can we count that out? When can we be absolutely sure? Well, I don't know that you're ever absolutely sure, but we, we could certainly have a much higher degree of confidence that that is not the more likely path. So we got to make some assumptions. So let me get that off of here. Let's get this off of here. So if we're going to go up here and we're going to complete this, and so we can say, oh, we got a nice impulsive wave structure. So we've got a candidate for a one wave. Well, we, we can't confirm that we've got a good new trend underway until we start doing this. All right, so let me get that into a degree that makes sense here. I can go yellow here. Let's go, let's go up to... Oh, we'll go to, uh, we'll go intermediate. Okay, so do you see what I'm after here? So if this is going to go up here and we get this five, right, we can't, we can't confirm that that's, that that's a one wave or something other than an ABC until we see the next retracement. So let me put that in context. All right, let's get this out of here. So it, let's say bulls here, we're, we're back up here and we get up until we're, we break 8,000, right? Everybody's party time. Well, we're not there yet. We're not there until we can hold this retracement. Let's, again, I'm, just, I'm hypothetical here. So if we go up here and we put that in, all right, let's, let's put it all together. All right, so here we come. All right, we go up here. All we've got is a golden zone, swing high, swing low. Right? No reason to think that that wouldn't hold. We High probability we're going to get a reaction there. Let me get this off of there. So if we come down four and we go up for five, we cannot confirm until we get this. So we, what we'll, of course, be looking for from there is something like this to bring us down into that zone. Then that's the big kahuna. That's what we're looking for. Not, not ready to go there yet. Until we have this move this I can just take advantage of this until we get this established too soon <laughs> to break out the party hats just too many other ways that this could go so again th this is this is my primary count right this is what I'm anticipating and trading on that roadmap until it pr until proven otherwise right th I, I stay with that view right so I, I and I think that this you know if it would be this be putting up 11 twelve thousand. I think that has high probability. Now, <clears throat> just because I think it doesn't mean a, a bloody thing. But uh, you, but you gotta you gotta have a <clears throat> you gotta take a position. And by saying that, I don't necessarily mean a position in the market. But you, you gotta at least have a, a primary count. W what do you think is happening? And then, as I will often remind you, then then you gotta look at the alternate and say, well, what if I'm wrong? First question: What if I'm wrong? What else could be happening? Well, we can't we can't declare anything uh, other than we've got a one two until we see this tested. Right? We we've got to see this reaction. So now we're getting way ahead of ourselves. So let's go back down to the one hour and just put this all back together in context. Right now, I've just got a candidate for my third here. First thing I have to do is confirm the four and the five here. So the next big test is what happens on the next retracement. 
if and when it starts to we, we start to get that retracement. What happens there? Do we finish with a fifth to give us a motive wave? And then from there, what if we go up here, we run into this resistance, likely spot for it. If we come down in three, what happens here? That's the big question. Then, then, if that holds and we start moving off of that impulsively, then that gives us all the confirmation that this is our hard pivot, the correction is over, new trend has started, and this is the big buy. That's the back the truck up right there. Right? We want the third of the third. Well, in this case, let's let's back that out a little bit. Let's go back to the let's go let's go to a 4 hour and think about where where that would put us. Well, that could just be the third of the one of the larger degree, right? If we're going back up, so think about it. If we're going back up to challenge the old highs up at 20, well, <clears throat> th this likely just the one wave. So on the largest degree, we'd be looking at this. 1 2 3 4 5, you know, let's put that in We'll go green and we'll go up to, uh, well, we can go primary. Okay, so then, now, 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 then we're looking for the third of the third. Now we're, now we're going way higher, right? Now we're back to 2017 kind of trading. So all, putting it all together, remember, it's waves within waves within waves. We're long, long way to go before, before we're having that party. But right now, we are certainly making a good start on it. One, two, catch the big three, game on. All right, guys, just a reminder, give us a follow over on Twitter. We do this polling every Wednesday as well as we really try and interact and engage with you there. So that's a good place to stay in touch with us. Our handle there is just Trade Devils. You can always visit our website, tradedevils.com, if you're interested in what we offer with regards to our university and the education that we offer to you so that you can do this analysis on your own. Right? That is the goal. Right, We're not trying to, to build dependence. We're trying to build independence. So the thought of coming to us to help refine your trading skills is just part of the education and your journey as a trader. We think we can shorten the learning curve for you. All right, we're doing it for a whole lot of people right now. And uh, it's worth considering. But if you're not quite ready to make that investment into that education, you can always join us on our public Discord. Right, that's free. You just come in, kind of sample it. Now, of course, you won't have access to every channel, but you'll have access to a few. Chance to in to interact with us, engage, get us get a feel for what it's like over on that Discord, and uh, that's um, another thing that you can consider. So, with all that said, I will wrap it today. Probably um, not another Bitcoin update until Bitcoin Friday, so you can look forward to that. Until then, we wait and see. Right now, we're just you know, look as we try and challenge these highs. Looks like we're, we're still fighting to try and get that third in, and maybe that 1618, 175 window is going to come into play. All right, guys, that'll do it for today. 